my family has witnessed several killings. Uh, one that was right next on the lot that I'm talking about. Um, I try to work real close to the black captain. Um, it's it's just unfortunate. Like my grandkids, they've uh, seen police chasing. Uh, police pulling guns out, you know, trying to chase people, not knowing that is a tragic, you know, for a young child to see. So um, for the past couple of years, we've been trying to, like, talk to them and let them know that the, it's okay. The police is here to help us, not to, you know, harm us of anything. But all these killings that they have been going through and the children is seeing that, they don't know whether it's a good cop or a bad cop. So, you know, us keep trying to stress to our children about the neighborhood that we live in. You know, trauma can happen anywhere. It's just, unfortunately, it has been happening around us and in our neighborhood to our black children. Um, I... Actually, the another time, the young lady and her children uh, just recently was shot up in a car. Uh, the little girl and her mother and father that just passed away. Uh, I happened to be at home when that happened. And Where exactly did that happen? That happened on Beacon. Uh, I didn't see nothing happen, but... I, I was able to go and help the the, the child uh, before EMS arrived. She was shot in the head, and I just thank God that I was able to help the baby be, before EMS got there. Um, again, there were children outside playing, and things like this going on. I mean, you, you have to try to make your neighborhood safe for the children, not not just so much of yourself, but for the children that, that live in the neighborhood and on our blocks. Um, I was always told as a kid coming up, it takes a village to raise a child. And if you can't respect your elders, a lot of these children don't know how to respect the elders because they don't know how to respect themselves. It comes from home. If you have been taught how to respect someone from home, when you get out here in these streets, you're going to know how to respect your elders as well. Um, I just tell my babies, just keep your respect and keep your faith and just keep moving on. Um, I've had, before I uh, stayed on Beacon, I stayed on Alcott. And, um, I mean, for the most part, I've had a pretty decent life because, like I said, I mind my own business. I don't try to get caught up, but I see a lot of things, you know, that's in the neighborhood, things that I would say, like, no, nah, they need to change that or they need to take this this store from out of here. I think it's only two churches that's, like, right in the area at the moment. I see a lot of our children. Actually, it's three. I take that back because it's one on Union. Um, a lot of our children in the neighborhood do attend the church or union, and I'm really grateful for that, you know, because that's where you, you just, you just have to have faith and know God. Um, a lot of our children is leaving us unnecessarily. I've, I've actually seen one kid here in the neighborhood on... Arlington and Lillian, uh, about, I want to say about 10 years ago, he was shot getting off the bus. I mean, to have seen, you know, a lot of this and for me to still be able to stand and talk to you about it, it's a blessing. It is a blessing because it could have been me. It could have been my children. It could have been you. You know, so I'm just, I just thank God for that. And I do see some progress that they're trying to do in the neighborhood. They are uh, 